and we are the, the Doubles. Doubles. Um, so we're a new channel. Um, we've not done anything like this before. <laughs> well, we haven't done anything like this before. No. We watch a lot of YouTube, so we thought, hey, give it a go. We recently married. We got married three weeks ago, mm -hmm. just over three weeks ago. Um, so we thought, as a newly married couple, this might be something fun to do. We enjoy gin, as you may be able to see from, you probably only see from about there, but we've got a gin cabinet full of gin behind us. Um, and we just thought we'd do some kind of reactions. So we've got the Craft Gin Club box here. So this is the September box. We're slightly late to the party for September. Yeah, we, well, when we decided to do it, the, the September box was already out. So this is September's box. Um, so we are going to open it and see what's inside and then we're going to try everything. So we've made an agreement with each other, haven't we? This is more for you than me. It's more for me because I'm more fussy than Mark is. But we've made an agreement that we will try every single thing that's in there regardless of what it is. So if there is any coffee, any coriander, anything else beginning with C, then... <laughs> My brain went... <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> um, then I'm going to be in trouble, but I will try it all. But you're more adventurous than I am. Yeah, and it's it's not going to be what's that Dorian fruit? Is oh it, yeah, like, like vomit fruit. Yeah. Not that sort of reaction. No, yeah. hopefully. Um, this is just a bit of Dutch courage because we've not done this before, so we just wanted to loosen ourselves up a bit. So this is just really? a Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. Um, okay, shall we? <laughs> Slightly sinister. <laughs> you can do it. Okay. I know you like to do it. Okay, so we have first of all the magazine that comes with every box. So if you haven't done Crafting Club before, um, they send you a magazine with every box um, that gives you kind of details about everything that's in there. And um, so in each box, there's usually a full size bottle of gin. Um, there will be Some mixers. Yeah, mixers. There'll usually be some stuff for a cocktail as well. And um, there's a cocktail of the month in every box, and everything you need to make the cocktail should be in here, minus some sometimes. garnishes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, so that has everything you need to know in it, along with a load of leaflets, which will immediately go away. <laughs> so that is that. So there's a load of stuff there. Whoa. A ton of stuff. Is that J2L? That is J2L. Oh my god. Am I in the 90s? <laughs> it's a J2L spritz. Ooh. So it's a delicious blend of apples and a hint of elderflower mm. with a dash of bubbles to sparkle your senses. Okay. So I'll Going be surprised. Back to your yeah. coffee coriander. Oh yeah. Elderflower. Mm -hmm. well. yeah. Um, but I imagine that's probably something to do with the cocktail. We shall find out. Um, we have... Can we tidy a little bit, please? There's an insight into our lives. <laughs> I just create carnage to mark tidies of that one. We have those. We have had those. Um, mm. Just in case you haven't seen it. Yeah, that's the J2O spritz there. Do the, <laughs> do the YouTube it's thing. It's probably completely off. Yeah. Um, pop chips. Barbecue pop chips. So we have had these before. What is it? No, we these are really, the only. We've only had them once, and it was. So after our wedding, we had like an open house. People came around, and we put on a platter, um, and we picked up a bag of those to go on the platter. We did. Yeah. Hmm. I thought they were not potato snacks. I thought they were kind of. Um, what's the other one that you get? It's, Corn. Well, mm. there's corn and then, um, or like chickpea snacks, or you know, like, yeah, something like that, but no, don't take it. So there's those. Oh no. Nut These milk. Are called... <laughs> These are called nut milk. So, um. Nut, what's this on? Nut milk. No, um. Nut bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're exactly the same. Yeah, Tina Turner did a song called Nut Milk. <laughs> um, Forest Feast. Original snack explorers, nut milk choco corn. Um, so show stopping corn, vegan, uh, roasted corn coated in nut milk, <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, nut milk chocolate. 
Okay, very nice. interesting. Ooh, Sugar Sin from Covent Garden. These are some berry bramble gummies. Let's hope they're a nice texture of gummy because we've had some gummies before. Oh, with a bird. Apologies. Do you find sometimes when you eat gummies, I chew just a little bit and then get bored and swallow them? Yeah, well, uh, no. I usually <laughs> start off thinking I'm going to suck them. <laughs> um, and then I get bored of sucking them and then I chew them and then I swallow them. Okay. So many blonde challengers in this video already. Um, and Stroop Waffles. I don't know why I said that like that. Stroop Waffles. Stroop Waffles. So, I've carried that down before. See, they say you warm it up when you're cup, like you put it on top of a hot drink. I never do. You don't like hot drinks. No, I don't really drink hot drinks. Um, okay, so, in Let's do your favourite bit. I like the plating all really, um, uh, things. Also, to say, I mean, this is probably very obvious. We are not sponsored by Jim. Oh, Crafting Club. Yeah. No, you don't even know no. the name of them. So why would they sponsor us? Um, no, we are. We've paid for this with our own money. So um, everything we say is legit. Um, legit. Legit. I feel like we've got a round wood already. The, 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 uh, the Christmas one. Bottle looks very good. Yeah. No, that's one you're thinking of. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it Let's just show. Like, you will get out of the box first. So, we've got this one, which is like a Christmas gin. And you tell me if you think this is like, looks exactly the same. So, this is the gin Brownwood Fireside Gin, autumnal warming botanicals, Ooh. crafted exclusively for the crafting club. But I think it's just the bottle. I think it's just the design on the bottle just reminds me of a bottle that we kind of already had, but yeah. I suppose it's much of a much less really. I don't make sure I'm putting the right one back. Oh, just while it's here. Um, Sarah, if you're watching, our friend Sarah, does a shout out to Sarah. She got us this gin from South Africa. It's a cocoa gin, it's very nice. We haven't drank much of it because we say it for special occasions. There we go. Um, let's top those back. He's learning. Um, yes, so yeah, so we got the round wood gin. We have some apple slices for the garnish. That'll be the apple slices. The garnishes you tend to get is for when you're making a gin and tonic rather than the cocktail. Yeah. Um, ooh, gin cocktails. So forest fruit fizz cocktail syrup. So you'll get the cocktail syrups that you need for the cocktail. Oh, yeah. What on earth is this? Gal is it Gallipetti or Gallipet? Gallipetti or Gallipet? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> um, Gallipetti Cedar. Oh, it's all in French. Oh no, there's that's an English that's translation. That's apple. Yeah, fermented apple juice. 100% pure juice. I know. Okay. Were you trying to read the French and I just went straight to the translation? Well, I mean, you would have figured out pom yeah. fermenté. Well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Pomme de terre is a potato. <laughs> I know that. Um, and then, what is this in? Sweet milk. Is that what it says? It's a Swedish tonic. Ah. Ah. Our cousin Laura, our cousin Laura, <laughs> my cousin Laura, um, your cousin-in-law, um, is, sweet. well, I say Swedish, she may as well be. She lives in Sweden now, and um, yeah, she speaks fluent Swedish. Um, so, yeah, hand brewed by Swedish Tonic in Stockholm. So we've got two of those, so they'll be for the gin things. Um, as I said, there's uh, a few snacks, full-size bottle of gin, some other bits and bobs, some stuff for the cocktail. Um, I think we're agreed that I the cider know. is probably to have on its own rather than in the cocktail, but we might be surprised. I'm intrigued by that. Yeah, it looks, it's very simple looking. But it looks medicinal. You know, sort of medicinal bottle. Yes, I like that as well. Not that I like. I like the look of it. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Apothecary is what yes. you're looking for. Yes. Yeah. In our um, downstairs loo, there are some um, the soap and hand lotion bottles look similar to that because you like the apothecary style. Um, okay. Do you want to look for the cocktail of the month? I'll try my best. We're into. Mm -hmm. 
you talking about yourselves? <laughs> right, so uh, this September we've got a stunning seasonal sip. So it's a forest fruit fizz. Oh, I don't know, it does have this in it. You were wrong. Oh, it does. Oh, I, I said we would be surprised. I am surprised. And then this is called forest fruit fizz syrup, so we should have known. Well, yeah, not, the, not that we should have known it had that, but no. we should have known that it was forest yeah. fruit. I thought the fizz was going to be this G2O, but it's not. It's the cider. Uh, okay, fine. So we need some the gin. The gin. The syrup. The cider. Product placement. And then, so, so then we need blackberries and mint to garnish, and we don't have those. We don't have those. So this is going to happen to you too. <laughs> no, well, so to be fair to Crafting Club, um, I think when you are ordering from them, because we have used them before, and we just, we cancelled the subscription subscription for a while, because we started it back. We were saving for our wedding, to be fair. We were saving for the wedding. Um, but to be fair to Crafting Club, when you're ordering a box ahead of the month, so you've got the subscription, so for example, for... October's box, they okay. usually send an email out first saying um, we're not going to give anything away because and they don't give anything away before you get the box so it's a nice surprise when you get it but usually it says we're not giving anything away, anything away but these are the garnishes you'll need for the cocktail oh. so they usually tell you ahead of time you'll need mint and blackberries. I did not so know that. that. Why well, did because not I that? get the email. I know, well why didn't you say that for this video? <laughs> <laughs> because I said when you're ordering ahead of time I think because this was we ordered this when the box was already out. You don't then get the email. The email oh, gets sent to everyone who signed up right ahead of time. So I think we should try the gin on its own first because mm. we like to do that with gins. Try the gin on its own, um, and then make the cocktail. Or do you want to have the cocktail and then the gin and tonic? Or do you want to have the gin and tonic then the cocktail? No, the gin first. Yeah, the gin, and then and do you want the gin and tonic? Try these we'll try those while we're drinking the gin. Okay. So do you want the gin first? Oh, sorry, we're going to have the gin first, <laughs> but do you want the gin and tonic before the cocktail, or do you want the cocktail before the gin and tonic? No, you, you end the night on the, on the cocktail, right? So, okay, so we'll have the gin on its own, then we'll have the gin and tonic, and then we'll have the cocktail. We're going to grab some stuff to do that, and we'll be right back. We're back! <laughs> As if by magic. Okay, so let's get into this then. Ooh, satisfying sound. Sounds oh, like gin. Okay. <laughs> Squirrel! Is it kind of distracted because it's raining? It is raining quite heavily outside at the moment. What's it called? Storm one? I don't know. Is it, is it named? Mm. I didn't know it was named. Mm. Smells like gin. Smells like gin. No, it has got more of a warm, like a. Fireside yeah. smell. I should also preface that we are in no means Excellent. gin experts. We just, we just enjoy gin. I feel like I've given you a lot more than me, but... <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to good health. I think cherry glasses, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. Tell me more. Um, so it says, introducing fireside gin, carefully balanced to capture the coziness of evenings around the fire. Inspired by the enchanting woodlands surrounding our Cambridgeshire distillery, this gin harmoniously blends delicate berries and a soft, comforting spice, culminating in a flavoursome spirit with a luxuriously long and satisfying finish. They were really testing my reading skills there. <laughs> it's really nice. It is really nice. That, just over rice, would be quite nice. Yeah. With the slice. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah, pour it in there. Um, so in, well, you can go and talk about the cocktail. I realise I, I think I'm talking too much. <laughs> As always. David's the talker. I am the talker. And I'm fine with that. So this, this month's gin, um, obviously we saw, came with apple slices um, and the tonic that they suggest. Um, very simple, make your gin tea, combine your gin and tonic and the garnish in the glass with ice. So that is what we will do. Yes, so it says, so 50 ml, so we have a jigger. If you I didn't know what one of these is called, apparently it's a jigger. In our house. In our house. But I thought that's just what the name is. is I mean, not? normally we would just free pour. Yeah, but we're doing the perfect serve. Okay. So, 50 and 50. 
I'm going to put this in now. So we've got time to infuse. I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference, to be honest. But no, you do, you. <laughs> I don't want to rustle. I just want to give a shout out to Brockman's as well, because again, this is not in any way sponsored, but we love Brockman's gin. Um, and when they found out we were getting married, um, they very kindly sent us this bottle, which has got our names on it and the date that we got married, which was very sweet of them, and some other kind of goodies, um, one of which was this bar blade, which I'm going to use now. Um, so. They won't be watching, but Brockman's, if you are watching, thank you very much. Um, we do love you, but as I said, not sponsored at all. It's just they were very kind. Um, it was... Oh, oh my oh. God! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be That's right back. Before. <laughs> no. We'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back. And it's <laughs> magically disappeared. Um, I'm going to let you open yours now. Oh, is this 200? Is this the, 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 the serve? So, yeah, so it says, yeah, 50 mils of the gin, 200 mils of the tonic, um, and these bottles are 200 mils. Jesus! Uh, it's happened to you as well. Well, it's because it's... Fool me once. It's because, to be fair, it's because they've not been in the fridge and they are slightly warm and it got delivered today, so maybe it's been jiggled. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Jiggled by the jigger. <laughs> um, At least you did that on the yeah, floor. Yeah, so normally if I'm in a pub and they give me one of these, because I like my gin a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. I normally put half in. Well, I should have said that before we opened both of them. No, but do they not say for a perfect serve it's one part gin to two or three parts? Tonic. Oh. Maybe it's two or three, but this is four. I don't know maths. Oh, that's four. No. <laughs> well, they, they told us to do it. They told us to do it. So, as we said, we are whoa. We are going to do everything that they send. So we're going to try this, and then while we're trying this, we're going to try the snacks. Give it a little stir. Put the apple in. Oh, I'm excited. Because this is, doesn't look like normal tonic. It's got a funny colour. Yeah, it is a funny colour. It's not done with anything, I don't think. It's all in Swedish. I'm not going to know what any of that says. Laura! <laughs> Laura, help! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no idea. Hey door to that. <laughs> tag. <laughs> <laughs> we know hey hey, hey doll, and tack in Swedish. So hey hey is what kind of hello. Hey doll is goodbye, and then tack is thank you. So they're the only bits that we know in Swedish, and I probably pronounced it all wrong, so apologies to any Swedish people. Not just a gin review channel. <laughs> an education. Yeah. Who needs babble? <laughs> You've got us. You're babbling. <laughs> Cheers! Ooh, mm. that's interesting. I can't know. I feel like the tonic is overpowering the gin slightly. Mm. Yeah, that's because we, again, caveat in that we like it a bit stronger. I would pour more gin in, but we've got a cocktail to drink after this, and we've got work tomorrow, so we're not going to get. It. Are you going to chalk it? Yeah. No. But yeah. No. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to try the gummies now. Do you want me to read the back? I mean, it just says they're gummies. They're berry gummies. They're vegan, which is interesting, because a lot of gummies have gelatin in. Oh, this is how much to open. You bet there's this thing. Um, what, oh, what colour do you want? What colours are they? Oh, I um, love a red. I usually go for a red gummy. Not everyone does, but... Oh, they are Basically, solid. we have... Red, yellow, and... Um, it says berry bramble gummies. So mm. I'm guessing from the pictures on the front of the packet, there is lemon, black currant, black currant, blackberry, red currants. Um, oh, there we go. You see, you didn't read it. Soft gummy assortment bursting with intensely fruity English wild berry flavours of blackberry, cranberry, and black currant, complemented with zesty lemon. And balanced with a tang from the sour sugar crystals. Ooh, what are you having first? Then? I'm having this red one, which I assume. Is it one of those? Oh, there is. It is darker are. than the rest of us. <laughs> darker than the rest of them. Um, but I don't know what that could be because it's not blackberry. I, I don't know, know which one of these is blackberry. So that that's lemon. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's cranberry. That this will be blackcurrant, won't it? What both of those? 
No, that's brown. Yeah, but have I got a good one? No. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's way texture. It's sticky. Oh, it's nice though. Mm -hmm. That must be blackcurrant. Mm. That's a blackcurrant flavour. That is. Oh, it's making my mouth salivate. That it does seem really kind of, nice. They don't have blackcurrant flavour in America, right? Uh, no, I don't think they do. No, blackcurrant seems to be like a bit of an English thing. Yeah, because when they have sour patch kids, they usually have like grape instead of blackcurrant. Mm. Which is weird because blackcurrant's delicious. But it's what you brought up on, I suppose. Well, let's try the one that's one. This is a brown colour. <laughs> may or may not be off. Yeah. Black currant. That hear, might be cranberry. I can hear my, my own squelchy mouth. Yeah, apologies if there's anyone out there with misophonia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that flavour is. That might be cranberry. But then this looks like, I don't know why I'm cutting this in half, it's three of these. We have to eat everything, do we? We're trying everything. We have to finish everything. Mm. Mm. That tastes like, when you're a kid, have you ever got those like plastic bottles that are like, they look like Coca-Cola bottles, but they, they were sealed. plastic and they were, and you have to twist the plastic top off them. Because they were like 100% sealed. Yeah. Mm. That tastes like that. That's taking me straight back to my childhood. Mm. We'll, think... just, we'll just try half of each one and then we're not eating loads. I'm assuming. This is, yeah, this is definitely lemon. It smells yeah. like Sith. Yes. Mm. That's more limoncello, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's quite limoncello y. That's lovely. You saying there's only one of them? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of our waistline. <laughs> Yeah, so we got married three weeks ago. We're not going on our honeymoon <laughs> until back in the November. Video of that may or may not come on this channel. We'll see. But um, we are watching our waistlines for the honeymoon. I mean, oh, I keep forgetting my jeans there. Okay, it's stuck in my teeth. No. Uh, I want to try this nut milk only because. I want it out of the way because I don't think I'm going to enjoy this. It smells like chocolate. I love a chocolate coated nut. Well, this is not milk, so. What's nut milk then? Well, I don't know. It's, I, don't, I don't even know why it's called nut milk because it's not nuts, it's corn. Yeah. Roasted corn coated in nut milk chocolate. Mm. Made with cocoa beans blended with almonds. Ooh. Oh, actually. It's like I'm eating popcorn mm. and a chocolate bar at the same time. I'm actually, I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would. Mm. That's really more. Mmm. I'm going to scoff them. <laughs> because there's a slight saltiness to it as well, which anything kind of salt and chocolate. Mm. Oh my god. That's why I always say to you, the best, I'm going to say the best flavour profile, Adam, not that means you're not every name, not name dropping. Mm. If you're watching, I know there are many better flavour profiles, but a bag of salted crisps mm -hmm. followed by chocolate. Yeah, and that kind of, because that, that just tastes more like popcorn than nuts. I think, I don't know if they'll go in for the fact that, <clears throat> like, nuts and chocolate go really well together. Mm. Like, I love a Reese's peanut butter cup. You cannot stand them. Anyway, stroop waffle. I want to finish, I, some hair. I know, I want to finish on the stroop waffle. Because mm. I know yeah. I'm going to like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've had these before, so this isn't going to be any sort of surprise. Weird though, isn't it? Because I've never seen them before, and then we had them, and now we've got them mm. again. 
I like them. See, they taste really nice now. We took these on our mini moon. We had a mini moon straight after the um, wedding. Yeah, well, we bought them for the. I've already told the story. And we bought them for the day after. Yeah, but then we took them with us to the mini moon. Because oh, we have those left. Because we have those left. And I didn't enjoy them as much as this. Oh, I don't. Were they definitely barbecue flavour? They were fine. They were fine. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Barbecue. Crisps, I have not mean. Mm -hmm. mm. I keep taking a sip just so I can mm -hmm. experience. <clears throat> yeah. And don't worry, we're not going to drink this whole thing on camera. Aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just conscious <laughs> of how long the video would be if we did. Mm. Yes, at the rate that you um, drink. Yeah. Oh, Coco's come to say hello. Hello, Coco. So this is our dog, Coco. She's obviously come to say hello because you could hear us talking. Hi. Oh, lovely kiss. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we love Coco very much. She is a stuffy crossed with a whippet, um, which is a bit of an unusual breed. You don't see many of them. Um, we got her from the Dogs Trust, um, and she's just gorgeous. And she is the most cuddly dog you've ever known. Um, but he's and also. Nice. Okay. She probably smell all the barbecue stuff. <laughs> there are a lot of things open on this table, Coco. Oh, please don't throw up. That's some decorum. I know. Well then, go to bed. Off your pop. Well then, don't go to bed. Go to bed. Mm. Anyway, carry on. We shall carry on. Uh, is that all our snack? Oh, apart from the street waffles. There she goes, she's off now. Interestingly, we just came back from Chester this weekend to celebrate my brother's 30th. And we bought her some, we oh. bought you some meat flavoured bubbles, <laughs> um, which were not cheap, and oh, she was no. terrified of them. Coco, off. This is not for you. Good girl. Why have you done two together? Oh, I thought it was like a sandwich. <laughs> it is, but that is one street waffle with the caramel. I know, I thought that was a sandwich. Is it not? Is it ginger? I don't know. Um, can't read. It's not in. Um, here we go. Tastes Waffles like... with fifty percent caramel flavour filling. It tastes very Christmassy. Mm. No, it's cinnamon. That's what it is. You don't like cinnamon. I don't mind cinnamon in small amounts. That, that's not very cinnamon in mini. Okay. Oh no, I'm got mouthful. So. Mm -mm. I can talk. <laughs> Don't we know? Hmm. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> um, so we've tried the snacks, we've tried the G&T, so now I think it's time to try the cocktail. <laughs> so we'll get the stuff and we'll be right back. And we're back again! <laughs> so we've got our stuff for the cocktail here. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you do it. Oh no, the pressure. You know. So, <laughs> hello. She's oh. back. You can hear us. <laughs> this month's cocktail doesn't require any form of shakeage. So we basically have two highball glasses. That's the right word. Highball. Yep. Yeah. Filled with ice, and we're gonna put basically a double shot of the gin, <laughs> a twenty-five ml. Um, measure of the syrup and 125 ml of the cider. So I'm assuming, well, I was going to say I'm assuming it's 250 ml of cider, but it's not quite harsh. No, what does it say? Um, it say? We basically just put it all in and then do a bit of a, a zhuzh. A bit of a zhuzh. Okay. Off then. All right. Gin. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay. You know when you pour in this and then now I need to use the bottom one? Yeah. I would turn it over on I top know, of the glass. I know yeah. I do, but it, I just always worry. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Where's the 
Can, can I also just say? Lie. No. No. What? Can I also just say? Mm -hmm. Great response. I think. Yes. Oh my god. That was so close to it. Oh point. my god, that's so or um, not orange, red. Isn't it? Yeah, it's very red. I don't know why you're pouring that in. Oh, it's literally hard. Yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, right, well, this isn't. Uh, we need to do 125. Yeah, so two of those and one of those. Maths. Which I did very quickly. Thank you. One of these, two of those. Yeah. Really, really, you know, like, <laughs> can I have it, please? <laughs> I feel like trying to keep it from I was trying to describe it. Oh, it's very like not scrumpy cider, but it's very like it's like the flat cider that you get, but busy. Like, yeah, yeah, that obviously this is busy. Yeah, but when you go to a pub and you get like flat cider, and I don't know how much I like it like that. Well, I'll so we'll see. Oh, it's warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should have put it in the fridge. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that reminds me of me now. Mm, does it? Yeah. Oh. What was the, what's the brand? Woodpecker. That does not taste anything like Woodpecker. Woodpecker is so sweet. No. But I think it's because it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> You know you can chill woodpecker, don't you? <laughs> Tell me, Nan. <laughs> I can't. She's dead. <laughs> oh, there you go, sir. Thanks, sir. You've got more liquid than me. Chin chin. <laughs> you bought them. I know. Ooh, Ooh that is delightful. <laughs> I'll be honest, not getting much for it, forest fruit. But the thing is, I'm glad we tried that on its own because I can really taste that mm. coming through. But I don't, I don't particularly like that on its own on the um, galipet, galipette. We still don't know what it is called. Um, I really like it. But in here, it's really nice. I thought we had a blackberries and mint to garnish. Mm. So basically, you've got the cidery flavour with a sweetness, I would say. Yeah. And then the gin's quite hidden. Yeah. That's a good point. Which, but it's also quite dangerous. Because mm. that is very easy to and drink. what's the percentage of this cider? Four? 4.5. 4.5. Again, drink responsibly. Mm. Um, oh, I, I like it. I, I love, love that. Like it. Yeah, no, that is lovely. So I think we've tried everything. We've tried, yeah, we've tried the J2O Spritz. So sometimes... No, we've not. I know we haven't tried the J2O Spritz. Where did you put it? It's over there. Oh. I'll oh. be right back. <laughs> and I'm back. Again. Again. <laughs> Again. Um, yes, yeah, so we just wanted to get a glass of ice because, yeah, like I said, this has arrived today, so we haven't had a chance to chill anything. Um, so apple and elderflower, likely sparkling. And just get it ready to go. I'm, I'm worried. Judging by the um, tonics, we're just going to be okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, apple. Yes. No, no. <laughs> Over elderflower. Yes, it is very. I would say that's kind of fake apple. Fapple. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep that in. <laughs> fapple. It's fapple. Yes. Mm. Fast forward 10 years when we get in Fapple put on t shirts. <laughs> oh, God, took it ahead of yourself. <laughs> oh, it's just yours, is it? That was very satisfying. It's one glass to share. I know, I know. Um, still Fapple. Oh, see, oh, that's lovely. That's like a potizer. I was going to I was going to ask, is it going to be like a potizer? It is like apple tie, though. Yeah. Do you get frustrated with people that say apple ties? Is it not? It's apple ties there. Oh, that's what I say. Yeah. Mm. 
But I hear people saying apple ties, and you don't want to be that person. You don't want to be the Karen going, well, I we think you'll find it's apple tizer, actually. I think we might be wrong. We might be wrong. But it's spelled apple tizer. There's an hour on the end, so I don't think we get on. Is it not like French or something? <laughs> Then it would have like one of those. Apple teas. No. Don't say what. That's actually really nice. Mm. So I think we will enjoy finishing these cocktails off camera. Yes. So if anyone is watching this, because it might be we put this on and no one watches it, but if you're watching it and you're enjoying it, give us a thumbs up. Um, like. A like. Well, that is a thumbs up. Oh, no. <laughs> a, a comment and a subscribe. Yes, yeah, well. comment below. So if you have got this um, box, let us know what you thought of the contents, if you agreed with anything of the stuff we said. And click sub subscribe if you have enjoyed this. We don't know how long this video is going to end up being. Um, Hopefully sub 10 minutes. It's not going to be sub 10 minutes. <laughs> but if you made it to the end, thank you very much. We'll see. We don't have an outro some point. yet. We don't so. have an outro yet. So if, Bye. Anyone's, if, any, <laughs> if anyone's got any ideas for an outro, let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but Bye. until yeah, until we do another video, <laughs> um, we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.